The local pastor is back from the Philippines after surviving two deadly disasters within a month. His parishioners at St. Genevieve Catholic Church in Slidell welcomed him with open arms this morning. Monica Hernandez has the story. On my second day in the island, that's when earthquake took place, and I thought that was the end of the world. Kingdom of truth and life. Father Jose Roel Lungue is celebrating his first mass since returning from the Philippines. He was there when Typhoon Haiyan ravaged the country, and he was there when a deadly 7.2 magnitude quake damaged his home a few weeks earlier. My big fence, which is made of, of cinder blocks, they started moving like this. I held on to, to a big post, and then I saw the wife of my cousin holding on to me and, and the kids. When I saw all the ceilings flying around to him, almost hitting him, eight of them, I said, I'm not going to get out, you know, so I, I hid under the roof. Father Roel initially went to the Philippines to find a match for a desperately needed kidney transplant, but after disaster struck, that transplant has been postponed indefinitely, and Father Roel spent his time helping others instead. But just watching children and watching people, you know, living outside with nothing, they're begging for, for water, and that's, that would make, 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 makes me cry. I told them that I hope I can get help from, from, from my parish. I'll, I'll, I'll let them know what, what took place. And here in the United States, Father Roel's parishioners were inspired to help. They collected thousands of dollars in donations and several boxes of items to send to the Philippines. The people in my place are just so thankful that the world reached out to them and, and, and I want to bring their message to, to, to us here and to the world, you know, on their behalf. From the bottom of our hearts, a big thank you. A big thank you for helping survivors who were forced to live in tents after their homes were destroyed. Father Roel snapped pictures like these as he toured the areas most devastated by the earthquake. You can see homes and churches turned to rubble. I myself went through it and then felt like crazy, you know, and learning so much from, from our experience. Uh, I thought I was trying to, to, to be helpful to people, so, so I felt like I had a mission. <laughs> It's a mission that's ongoing as Father Roel remembers his experience in the Philippines and encourages others to help. Monica Hernandez, Eyewitness News. If you want to help the disaster victims, you can drop off food and clothing to St. Genevieve Catholic Church on the North Shore, or you can go to Dallas Al High School on the South Shore. You can also send money directly to Catholic Relief Services, and you can find their webpage under Links on 4 on our webpage, www.